all right welcome back guys uh, in this video I am going to go through setting up uh, PowerShell for managing Office 365 and it's basically what's been done in this uh, little in this little um, technique article here but uh, I'm just gonna go through it with you I'm not going to go through the article because uh, the article is missing some links, but I'll explain it as I go along. So what I've done is I've already gone ahead and download the uh, four applications you're going to need. Uh, the, uh, this one is the sign-in client, and uh, this one is uh, the uh, Microsoft uh, online model and uh, this one is the uh, link online module and that one here is the PowerShell module so uh, first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, install the signing client I'll, on, my, on the blog I'll have the link to all, where I get all this uh, signing information Then I'll install the. Uh, oh, actually, what I should have done before this, I should have uh, get So you see, the only two modules that are there. Even if I do get module. All you see what I have. So now I'll continue with the installation. the link chugging along there okay it's done and I close and I'll do the SharePoint perfect actually those are all uh, all the four installations you need to be able to manage um, Office 365. Now, uh, I might need to reclo uh, close and open this, but let's see what we have now. Still have the two loaded. Let's see all. Still have only the four. So I'm going to go ahead and close PowerShell. And I'm going to go ahead and reopen it as an administrator. Let's see what we got. Um, module. The other ones are still loading, but let's see all. Uh -huh. I see list all available. Did I miss it? So it does have those in there. Uh, 
Okay, it's uh, it's just taking a sweet time to load. Okay, so once I've had all have all those in there, I should be able to connect to my uh, Office 365. So since I have the uh, the module, uh, normally what I would do, let's say I want to connect to Exchange, I would do um, sorry to Office 365 because it's not really connected to the Exchange environment. We're connecting to the Office 365. I'll do a mess on service, and I'll do. But I can just do this. It'll prompt me. Then I can. I can sign in. I'm gonna have to do this multiple times. So let me just get it ready. And that would sign me into my environment, and I can do something like get MSOL user such string. Okay, so I'm connected in there, and uh, next thing I would uh, def I would do is uh, connect to my SharePoint service, uh, which that would be something. I'm gonna go. That's a little bit of a long command, so I'll just do that. Copy and paste. Will be connect SPO service uh, the URL then. The URL to my service, then my uh, my credential. Oh, I could just say connect to that, and we'll pop up for credentials. Should it? Perfect. And then I'll go ahead and put in my username again. Password connects me. I'll do something like get SPO sites to make sure I'm connected. Then it'll show me on my sites. Then finally, now I need to uh, connect to my link. Link is a little bit complicated because uh, link we're going to actually get to the back end of it. There's no front end of link. I don't know why. So <clears throat> first, we're going to uh, need to connect to a, a session. If I do a, I'll try to connect to a session like that. Uh, credential. It doesn't need it. So let's say new session. It's going to prompt to my credential. I'm going to do is my username. Okay. Get my password. Uh, so what it's doing now is taking my administrative password and it created a, a session called a link session. You can give it whatever name you like. 
then now I'm going to have to uh, import that session okay and now I have a link session and I can do something like get now uh, it's CS tenant that's the simplest command I know and I will get me the information on my link tenant so to summarize uh, what I have now basically I have a PowerShell window I have a PowerShell window that I can, I can run um, I could run uh, Office Online so Office 365 which is Office Online uh, commandlets uh, SharePoint Online commandlets and Link Online commandlets so you see how long it takes to get all that set up it takes it's what about 10-15 minutes 